What's good, everybody? It's your boy Slant, aka Mr. Different, your favorite nappy headed producer. Back with another plug and view. Today, we're going to be checking out Beat Skills Sample X version. Two. Yes, they just released a version two. I think it came out uh, a couple months ago, like like this year actually it came out this year. But I've had it for a while. I've been sitting on it, been using it in some of my productions. I just forgot to make a video about it. So here I am. You know how I am. I'm always late on plugins. But anyway, um, yeah, it's a very dope plugin. Like I said, I did a review on the original Simple X um, plugin. It was a very good sampler emulation plugin. Very simple, very easy to use, and very affordable. I think right now, if you own the original Sample X, you actually get a free update. And this is a very affordable plugin as well. And so I'll make sure I put links in the description below. That way you can get you a copy of this as well. So let's go ahead and jump inside of it, you know, see what BeatSkills have done with this plugin and just, you know, kind of explore it. So here we are inside of FS Studio. I have Sample X version two pulled up by BeatSkills just to show you what Sample X, the original looks like so you get kind of a refresher. This is the original, this is the new one. As you can see, it's not only a significant upgrade to the things you can do control wise, but as far as visual wise, it looks more like a vintage sampler. And that's what they were going for when they were making this plugin. So that's dope. So let me go ahead and play you what I got right now. This is just the loop I had for my uh, Vibes video. I use it on the drums and then, you know, we're gonna focus on the drums because that's why I think this really shines it, but you can use this on loops and samples as well. So here we go. As you can see, it just gives a character to the sound, gives it a nice gritty kind of lo-fi feel to it. Just like vintage samplers do, they do, they just add character to what you sent through them. So let's go ahead and look over this overview and let's check it out. I'm gonna play around with the controls. So you can do yourself, like I said, links in the description below. We can try it out yourself and you know, all that good stuff. So first off, as you can see, we have the new addition to it is machine section. Now the machine section is a convolution audio capture of the actual samplers that they're emulating. So it actually gives you the actual uh, sound of what they would do running audio through them. So that's really dope. So the first one, A, is the S as the MPC 60. So, you know, by Kai. And then you have the B is the S 900, <clears throat> which, you know, another, I think there's another Kai probably. I'm like saying, I'm not, don't, don't crucify me or any simple heads or old heads out there who know this stuff. Don't get mad. I'm, I'm doing the best I can. Look it up. <laughs> uh, C would be the uh, SB1200. As you can see, it even looks like an SB1200. And then D would be the um, S550. I'm sorry, I had to think for a second, but it's S550. So, and they say it don't, they, they, uh, they say they don't have a yellow face, but it, say it has a black face, but they just added yellow to kind of distinct it from, you know, the NPC60 skin. So yeah, you have three, four different um, algorithms right there and they drastically change the sound. I'm just gonna play to show you. So start with A and I'm gonna work my way over to D and you can just hear how it changed the sound just by changing the machine. And you can say just by changing the machine algorithm, automatically gives you, you know, a completely different sound. But you can also turn it off if you want to by either clicking the button right here, the eject button, or by turning it off right here. So you can turn it off if you just want to mess with the other controls in here, which there, let's get to them. So basically these are the controls from the original uh, Sample X. You have your bit dip, which allows you to change the bit dip of the samples coming in all the way from 24 bit, which is, you know, normal quality nowadays, all the way down to the four bit. So. And think of the highest number, just the more cleaner sound. Lower numbers is a more degraded sound. Just kind of keep that in mind. Next, you have the sample rate. Now, the sample rate will kind of give you some aliasing and stuff like that. And you can also control that even more with the shift control as well. So you get kind of some greenness. So like, for example, the SB1200 was a 12-bit sampler. And I don't remember this. I don't know if the sample rate is. I have to look it up. But it had a very grainy texture when you pitched it up and down. And you can kind of emulate that grainy texture by messing with the sample rate and the shift control.
I mean, you can just get some pretty dope, you know, stuff right there. So I really do like the edge gear. So you can get a more lo-fi sound or a more cleaner, modern sound. Next, of course, would be your drive. And this is just some, you know, drive that, you know, is emulated through um, the tape because I mean, they add a little bit of saturation, soft clipping and all that in these samplers. And I think it is dependent on the machine as well. So I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is. If not, I saw it record. But anyway, the drive just gives a little bit more harmonics and distortion. I mean, I love a little driving. It just makes these sound good. And then you have the width control. So you, if you have a stereo sound, you can make it more stereo or you can make it mono. That's just kind of cool. I don't think that's that was on the original. It just, yeah, it just played through regular. But it's cool that they actually give you a, you know, width control. So if you're doing like drums, just make a mono. You can make a mono for drums. And then for like samples, you can make it more stereo or just stereo. That's dope. They also added in a new filter. Basically, it's the same filter as the old. It's still a ladder style filter, a resonant ladder style filter with the low pass, but now they added in a high pass. So now you can cut the low as well as cut the high. So, you know, that's really dope. It makes it a more versatile plug in for, like I said, like not just drums, but other samples as well. So. So like I said, that just makes it a very versatile plugin. Next, you have the input and the output standard stuff. You can choose the input to drive it harder, the output to get more gain out of it. It's of like, like a trim control. So you can actually push the input in to get a little bit more distortion to it, a little more grit, and then you control the output with the trim control, which is that's what the output is. And then now you have a mixed wet knob. So now you can do some parallel processing. So you can drive it really hard, smash your drums, and then blend it back to get a more controlled taste. It's really good for drum buses and stuff like that, or putting it over the master bus as well. So yeah, that's pretty much all the controls right there. Now I'm gonna go through a few little presets and then after that, yeah, down description description down below. Got the download, try it out yourself and it sells. So let's just go through some of these. So we got the uh the uh C the MP60 or the EP60 as they call it. So let's just go through and um mess with some of this stuff. So The 550, the 没。It just gives a vibe. It just gives a character to the sound. I mean, I like the plugin. It's a really simple, affordable plugin to get a little bit more character to your drums or samples. I highly recommend looking into it. It might be something for you, especially if you're a lo-fi or sample-based producer, boom bass, something like that, or hip hop. This is a really dope plugin. So, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Like always, you know who it is your boy Slint, aka Mr. Different, not motivated by money, but like, comment, subscribe, and views. And with that being said, catch you guys next video. I'm out. Yeet. <laughs>